So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to look at some examples of the product rule. So let's just write down what the product rule says. It says that the derivative with respect to x of f of x times g of x is the derivative of f of x times g of x plus f of x times the derivative of g of x. So this may be the first differentiation rule that you've seen that tells you how to differentiate some combination of two functions that's not just really straightforward like a sum or a difference. And the formula is, is not, maybe not what you expect either. It's not the ideal, right? In particular, it is not the derivative of f times the derivative of g. Never write that down. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So let's look at some examples. Let's suppose that f of x is x cubed plus 4 times x to the fifth minus 8. Well, we have a product of two things here, this first part and the second part. So let's write f prime using the product rule. So first we'll take the derivative of the first part here, which is 3x squared. That's the derivative of x cubed. And then plus 0, but I won't write that, the derivative of 4. So the derivative of the first part times the second part unchanged. Right, x to the fifth minus 8, unchanged. So that's this, f prime times g. Now let's write f times g prime. So plus the first part unchanged, which is x cubed plus 4, times the derivative of the second part, which is 5x to the fourth, and then minus 0, which I won't write. So there's f prime by the product rule. Now it's worth noticing that you don't really need the product rule in this case because if you expand this expression you'll get a polynomial that you can differentiate without the product rule. But as long as you don't have to simplify this, using the product rule here will save you, save you from having to do algebra. Right? If you ha I had to expand this first, then you're going to have to do some algebra and then differentiate. Here we didn't have to do any of that. You don't have to simplify, don't, and use the product rule in this case. Let's look at another example. So let's suppose now that f of x is x to the fourth times e to the x. Now we can't get, a, can't get away from the product rule because there's no way to expand this to, avoid, to get, say, a polynomial. Right? This e to the x here is causing a problem. But we have the product rule, so we really don't have a problem. So f prime of x will take the derivative of the first part, which is x to the fourth, so 4x cubed times the unaltered second part, so times e to the x. Then we'll add the first part, unaltered, so x to the fourth, times the derivative of the second part. But remember, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So we get x to the fourth times e to the x. And that's f prime. We can also combine this rule with some of the other things that we know, uh, product and sum rules. Let's do one more example. So f of x is e to the x plus x times x cubed minus e to the x. Now just like the first example, you could expand this first and then differentiate each part, but then you're going to end up using the product rule twice. You're going to have an x times e to the x and an x cubed times e to the x. So as long as we don't have to simplify, using the product rule once is going to be simpler. So f prime of x is what? Let's take the derivative of the first part. e to the x, the derivative is just itself, e to the x, plus the derivative of x, which is 1, 
So this is the derivative of the first part times the unaltered second part, x cubed minus e to the x. Then we'll add the unaltered first part, e to the x plus x, times the derivative of the second part. And the derivative of this is the derivative of each of the pieces, so we get 3x squared minus the derivative of e to the x, which is still just e to the x. And those are some product rule examples.